Hello, and welcome back to another level of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, where we are now approaching towards the end of the game, and this part I am doing on my own, so last time, if you uh, haven't been up to date with the latest parts, I have basically done two collaborations in a row, which is uh, not something that's happened for quite a long time to be honest. Uh, in fact, I haven't really done many collabs on my channel uh, so far anyway. I didn't do any from a Crash 4 Let's Play, but... Uh... So, the next level we are going to be going to, if we have a look at the guidebook, is indeed going to be Thieves' Den, another awesome level from the game, uh, which also utilises a unique feature, which uh, no other level does, of which you will be seeing in a minute, so... Uh... Yeah, so here we go, let's talk to this little guy here. You did it! Wow! You're even shiftier than me! That's enough magic to make this carpet fly up and away! Hop aboard! Hop aboard from the Magic Crafters world if you're ready. Oh no, no. Right, that happens all the time. I, I go to jump on the platform and I overstep it, so... Just typical stuff, really. It always happens. Uh, and it's kind of annoying, but, you know, we transition into this cutscene here where we tr still transport to a level, so at least it doesn't make you, like, die or anything. But I've always found it really weird that you can just skip the platforms. Anyway, off we go with the level. Really cool level with a really cool atmosphere. I wonder if you can actually glide right over here. I'm actually really curious because I've never actually uh, tried to do that. It looks a bit far, but I'm going to try it. Uh, no, you cannot. Okay. Oh, but I got the gem. <laughs> I don't exactly think I'm meant to be getting that yet, but uh, we got it anyway. So if you want a gem, you're missing that two gem. At least you can always uh, glide back for it. So in this like really cool, this like introduction here to this level. Uh, where you like go into this like uh, this dragon's mouth? It sort of reminds me of the uh, toasty portal from Spyro One. It really does. The Riptock Wizards have turned our treasure into monsters. Can you do anything to help us? I can do what I can. Yeah. So in this one, interestingly. Oh no, Sparks, go away. Wing shield, that's the one. That is a feature which is not utilised in any other level and yes, some of the gems in this level are alive. Quite a lot of weird things actually happens in this level to be honest because for one thing, one really interesting fact is the thieves are actually good uh, in this game unlike, uh, well they are in the most part uh, compared to uh, what they were in let's say Spyro 1 or Spyro 3 so yeah, this one you use wing shield which you have to do L1 and R1 which opens up the menu as well to change your breath so yeah, it's, it's really annoying to use, it's very poorly implemented the next game on from this that were released after this, Sparrow's a Hero's Tale, also uses the, there we go, also uses the wing shield as well, but at least in that game, it is better imp implemented. And by the way, my voice is not going to be the best in this part, because uh, uh, sinuses are being really, really bad, you know, with the high pollen and stuff like that, uh, you know, just algae type stuff, so... Uh, yeah, that's very annoying, so please uh, hope you don't mind that. At least this mic has a uh, a mute button, should I ever need to use it. So that's at least something good that I didn't have on my old microphone. Oh, and that's what happens. You always accidentally press the guide book. Go away, I don't exactly want you today. Right, these guys are very temperamental. I don't know if I've sort of like broken them because I've used the overclocking feature on Dolphin. I have absolutely no idea, and this guy's not even going to use his attack, is he? It's just like 
stood there sort of like T-posing. Are you even going to do anything? Well, what is up with you, guy? I, I, need, I need you to attack me so I can kill you. Oh, there we go. That's how you reset him. You just walk away and come back. Okay, I don't understand what the heck was going off with that guy there. He was just sort of like stood there T-posing and I was I weren't able to actually uh, do anything with him. Yeah, so good level, but using this wing shield is not fun at all. It just does not work in this game and I'm actually glad that they only implemented it once. And when you use it, like I said before, you always end up changing your breath, which is extremely annoying. I'm not gonna lie, so... But one thing I will give this level, for the most part, is it's very pretty looking with all of the gems and all of the treasure. Sort of rem reminds me of that, like, end cutscene towards the end of uh, Crash to Insanity, where Spyro's, like, in with the uh, all of the gems and he flames the villains so it sort of like really reminds me of this and there's a lot of these like open spaces it's very much Spyro 1 or Spyro 3-esque it really is uh, you know sort of like it's like it's like cloud spires at night but you're sort of like in caves which is you know really really cool I mean you can tell that they've like put some time you know, and to put time into developing levels, you can definitely tell that they've probably, like, spent the most time on developing this level. I'd say, because, I mean, the views are just absolutely amazing all around, even when you do get outside. So, you know, it's not an inch of this level that just does not look nice. Uh, at least we get the Zoe Zap which might protect us should we keep getting attacked because of a faulty wing shield. So, uh... And for some reason, the game is lagging quite badly. Which is really annoying. I might actually go check something real quick. Uh, because the game does not normally lag like that. I'm actually going to... Although it's probably very intensive, this level, it probably will lag anyway. But uh, I'm just going to do a quick check that I haven't done a stupid thing with my computer that I think I have done. So, yeah, I'll be back in a second. Okay, I am back. And I have indeed done an incredible stupid thing. Because I just went to check my computer to discover... I had it running on battery and not powered on through the mains, so that'll explain why I was actually getting this bit of lag. Uh, so I really do hope that the beginning footage of this is not choppy. If it is, I really do apologise and that really does explain why that's happened because I had my computer running on battery. That is why it was lagging. So yeah, always for when you're recording a Let's Play or doing any streams, or doing even any gaming in general, always have your computer plugged in if you're using a laptop, because you will never get the same performance on battery, and it will die in probably about 30 minutes, because, yeah. But that's not really on topic with the Let's Play, but I just thought I'd give you this bit of advice, so you don't screw up the same way I did when I recorded my uh, Let's Play here, so... Just so you know, don't do a repeat of what I did, because it's not fun. So yeah, up here, that's what I mean, this area is to explore in this level, it's, it's probably the largest level in the game to be honest, well I don't know about that because Cloud9 exists, quite frankly, uh, in that regard, but definitely the most, I, I, I don't know, I mean, oh, Multiple. I've said this about multiple levels in the game, about them being pretty. Hey, it's Charlie. And we're this far into the level, and we've only got one dragonfly so far. That is utterly barbaric. Uh, right. Okay. So. Okay. So there's a wall here, a weak wall. You can break. 
And of course, there's another one of them dragons, which I got first time. Nice. I was gonna, I was actually just gonna say, is this actually gonna happen in this let's play? But thank goodness it has. But anyway, here we go. In with the mini game. I believe this is a speedway because there is indeed a speedway in this level. So uh, yeah. Wish me luck on this. Speedways are not actually too hard, to be honest. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, a speedway is definitely a fun break from the level. Uh, I will say that. So, here we go with that. Uh, obviously, saving my progress, you know. Saving progress is a, a very, very good thing. Especially knowing the game can crash any time. Oh. The wizard Riptock has captured a dragonfly. Use your lightning breath to activate all the triggers and lower the wizard's tower. Uh, slow down, mate. So actually, this is not the speedway. I got that wrong. Is the wizard's platform maze? I guess so. So yeah, I got that totally wrong. I really do apologize. This is not the speedway. So we need electric breath for this. Now, apparently there is a strat where you can get to the top and you can, uh, like, do a hover over and then you can like sort of like cheat the challenge because I know uh, yes Wally one uh, you know world record holder of speed running this game taught me that uh, cool strategy well back to what I was saying about saving progress there was a mishap on the part I joined my friend Emily Dixon for her let's play part of of uh, let's say this game where she did cloud nine she got halfway through a level and she loaded state which is absolutely not something. And wow, you go high here. You really do. So, at least I know. You know what? I'm going to do a challenge legitimately. Because I want to show you me doing that. If I can do it in a one go. Please let me do this in a one go. Well, you see, this is what happens when your controls are mixed up. Not an excuse. Not at all. I'm not blaming the controls. I, legit, this is confusing. Because uh, I'm playing this on the uh, Switch Pro Controller, and this is obviously Nintendo, and not PlayStation. You know, two t entirely different things. Uh, so obviously the controls are pretty backwards. Uh, I hate it even more how on Xbox the A B buttons are like, and the X and Y is the other way around to Nintendo. I absolutely hate that. I cannot adapt to it, and. Uh, yeah, I don't understand why are they not always the same. I mean, I mean that's why I like PlayStation controls. I think shapes are like a much better system than letters. I mean, for example, it's easier for let's say people, uh, you know, could have vision, you know, in parities, uh, or let's say people with uh, autism, or some, you know, sort of like. Uh, Handicap can understand them better. That that's that's how I feel anyway about them having a, uh, you know, shapes on the buttons. And that's why I like PlayStation. But it's just evident that the Nintendo version of this game, especially on Dolphin, runs uh, so much better. Like this is nice. This is like running nearly as nice as Reignited. It's beautiful. It really is. But, yeah. I mean, there's not really much to talk about. I know I should keep this on topic, but, you know, obviously, I need to uh, get lighting some platforms up, so. Oh, this moves forward, okay. that That's why my timing was off. I thought my controls like top, sort of like gone all uh, goofy then, but uh, obviously not. Uh, right, I'm gonna... Ooh, dear. Right. I know there's a platform thing missing down at the bottom, so I'm going to have to uh, keep my eye out for that. Uh, I don't know where that's gone, but that means I'm going to have to climb back up again, aren't I? Just, whatever I do, don't lose my footing. Because if I lose my footing, that is going to cause a death. And I mean, the views of this horizon, just look at this. It's just absolutely just beautiful. It really is. Uh, Right, okay, so I'm going to jump down here, take a risky jump. Yes, there we go. Right, I think that's it. Is that it? Have I missed anything? Is the ripped-up platform falling down? 
No, it's not. Okay, so I've got to go and try to find the last one. Oh, no. Come on. Right, this is not fun. Because I'm wanting to get this challenge over with. But I can try this, like, uh, little strategy that I've been taught. And uh, see if that works. So, I'm trying to find where that one uh, last... Uh, it's not there. Okay, where is it? Some of you who are probably skilled or well trained up at this game are uh, probably thinking, oh, here we go, right. So we'll make our way around here, making our way yeah, downtown, uh, walking fast. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not putting song references in the Let's Play part. That's, yeah, okay. So uh, that was my favourite song, though, when I was uh, about six or seven year old. It really was, actually, and... Uh, you know, followed by the uh, the ketchup song, which, you know, that's just pure nostalgia. But if you haven't heard that song before, give it a listen. Uh, right, I'm just going to... Uh, oh dear, right. I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to get around here. Uh, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go on here and wait for it to go all the way around again. But do these platforms, like, revert? That's where I'm wanting to know, because if they do, I'm pretty screwed, aren't I? And the sound of our electricity is pretty, pretty loud. It really is. Uh, so, where is this one platform that I'm wanting? Uh, I'm, I'm just not finding it. No, it's following me around that way now. What the hell? Oh dear, this is not fun. Right, okay, let me let me just get round here. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I've spent more time in this challenge than I originally anticipated. Right, good. Right, okay, cool. Right now, I want to land. What the heck are you doing, Spyro? Come on, just let me. It's very confusing when they keep changing direction. I, I kind of wish they just did not do that. And then this challenge would be a lot more fun. It really would. And there we go, just a zap. And we're done. Awesome, first try. It doesn't really often happen with that challenge. It took a bit longer than I wanted, but I did it. What skill? I can't believe you made it to the wizard. Oh wow, is that all you're gonna say? Hey, it's Morpheus. Morpheus is a pretty cool name, you know, for this type of like adventure type setting. Wanna try the platform puzzle again? Uh yes, just a just a quickly one. Just because I want to uh, see if this skip works. Because you basically just like light them all up, you get to the top, you glide, you do a, uh, yeah, so, and then you do a hover. So, you know, under the platform though, because you can't exactly reach the riptock platform. Because, you know, the hitboxes for that riptock are really wide. You know, wider than they actually need to be. And that is, you know, odd choice, but, you know, I can't do anything about that. All I can really do is say it's the developers, so. Right, we're going to go right to the top. This kind of reminds me of one of them rides where you sit on that, like, sort of, like, long bench of 20 seats and it goes, like, swings round in, like, a clockwise or anti-clockwise pattern. You know, one of the uh, lower-end uh, funfair rides. Uh, can I do it? Yes, you can, but you can actually skip to the end of the... <laughs> Okay, right, so that that would have saved me a lot of time, but you know, I wanted to show you it doing legit. The the yeah, so that is a speedrunning strat. If you want to do that, so... Uh, but, you know, obviously, I did it legit, and I did it the speedrunning way, so I've actually shown you, you me doing it both ways. Uh, I can see this part being quite long, because it is quite a long level when you actually consider things. And to be honest with you... You'll probably have to backtrack through the level again. I can't exactly remember. But. It's really cool anyway. Uh, I'm just going to say that. So it doesn't matter how long we spend in this level. It's an awesome level. It does not matter. Now if I had to spend. Over an hour. In Fireworks Factory. Or Lost Fleet. Or Zephyr. Or something like that. Uh, then. That would be different. It really would be different. But this isn't any of those levels. So even though it's in an inferior game, 
it's a good level, so I really don't mind, to be honest. Right, you, I, this, I don't know why it's so temperamental, it's really annoying. There is one bad design choice to this level, I personally find, in my honest opinion, which you'll be seeing in a second. Which I just totally do not get at all, you know, considering the size of the level and how long it takes to get through. But uh, I'm going to show you that. Oh, come on. I usually get that dragonfly first time. I didn't even have the right breath handy. Right, okay. Hit boxes on them swinging axes. Hit boxes on those swinging axes, right? Uh, so temperamental. You can, you know. Uh, really mess up on something that's not your fault here but the view from here is just literally amazing i need to find somewhere to get a good thumbnail i think there's going to be one further down but anyway this is the floor right i've just come out of a mini game if you're watching i've just come out of a mini game and literally two minutes later you know probably a less than a tenth of a level later i'm going into another one so the pact both mini games close together. Surely they could have spaced them out more. It's just an opinion, but you have to let me know what you think to that. Which challenge would you like to play? Um, I'm gonna go with... I tried to do a Sparks impression, but that sounded like a Mario impression. That was absolutely <laughs> diabolical. Yeah, I'll just go with easy. Now, what the heck is going on here, right? We've just come out of Thieves' Den. And now we are in like a Scorch themed level. Like just sudden big change of theme already. You know, Cloud9 Speedway was relevant. You know, the Speedway was relevant to uh, Dragonfly Dojo. But this Speedway is totally irrelevant. Now, could you guys let me know what you think is going on here? Because we've suddenly gone from Thieves' Den to Scorch. You know, in a theming like this Oasis Desert theme, which... I'm not really seeing in Thieves Den to be honest. Uh, well maybe a little bit but nowhere near on the same level as this so yeah it's a really weird design choice. Uh, Alright Speedway but just really weird choice with what they've done here. It really is so and it looks like Spyro's legs are going round in circles like the wheels. That looks nasty. Can you imagine, like, your bones? Or, uh, you know, your joints, like, free-spinning like that? I mean, how would your nerves even connect? That's that's the question I want to know. Uh, yeah, that is really creepy. It really is. Uh, and there we go. Right, the last part of the challenge now, I believe... I'm trying to find the last bit of the challenge. Oh, it's them over there. Of course, they'll be right over the other side of the map. I think I've done this in totally the wrong way. But can I get them all in about 15 seconds? Can we uh, find out? Uh, we can only try, can't we? Uh, but I don't think it's really going to be all that doable, to be honest. I can try, but I can't promise. Right, okay, so this has not worked this time. Okay, so we're gonna have to try this again. So, <laughs> yeah, I think in this, I think in this, we're gonna be do, like spending most time in mini games. So I know next time. So yeah, let's try again. We'll just, we'll just scratch that and we'll just start again. Uh, yeah, this is what you know what I mean. I'm spending more time in mini games. Now this, where this like castle is in the middle there, to the to sort of like to the left. I wonder if that's like where a hunter challenge or something like that would have been. If this was actually like the, uh, you know, going to be 
And what is this change in music dynamic here? Yeah, this speedway is weird. It really is. Not just because of its location and theming, but, you know, weird things sort of seem to happen in it all the time. I've always had glitches in the speedway when I used to play this game. Uh, and they can be quite annoying. I'm just going to say that. What are you doing? I didn't I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even press the glide button. I didn't even press the glide button. Ah, right, okay, right, okay. No, 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 no. Right, here we go. This time, yeah, for some reason, even though you flame these snakes, you end up being sucked down. Uh, you know, like the magnetic water does in Reignited. I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. All I can say is it's annoying, but I think this time we're actually going to get this uh, this speedway done. So, uh, right, can I jump through this? No, I can't. Cost can't. I'm asking too much. So, yep, yeah, weird running again. Yeah, to be honest, I just want to get the uh, the race done now because yeah, uh, time is getting on. Not that I'm in a major rush. I was going to record Jurassic Jungle, the level after this as well, but I, I, to be entirely honest with you, I don't think I've really got that much time left because this level is actually longer than I originally uh, anticipated and time is running out. Where is this last camel? There we go. Right, three seconds to go. Come on, that was... Right. That is a hard speedway. That really is. Unless I am unless I just suck at it. Uh, so no, I do not want to try it again. Just one time is enough. So. Hey, it's Copper Top. Weird names, like, why? Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with the uh, yeah, the thieves race. At least that's the thieves. Right, here we go. Right, this time, I think we're gonna do this a little better. Now, the trick for speedways I've always learned from these Spyro games is basically just to, uh, you know, basically. I'm going to show you this real quick anyway. Uh, go to options. If you change the aspect ratio setting, it only changes the aspect ratio of, on this, of the uh, the background for some reason, the skybox. Like, changes shape. Like, if it's in the correct aspect ratio, the, uh, the moon's in correct shape. But if it's on the incorrect one, where text box glitches hang out to the side, uh, which is wrong, the moon's the right shape. So that is really, really weird. It honestly is. But as I was saying, speedrun strat really is to sort of like go through all of these, uh, you know, sort of like go through all of these rings. Uh, no, not rings, stars, because they speed you up. Uh, I don't bother so much with the the uh, red ones, which give you special items to fire ahead. I never really particularly bother with those. Not that there are in, any in this speedway anyway, but in other speedways, I don't tend to really bother with those. I just seem to, you know, sort of like go for the blue ones, which, as I said, is all there is in this speedway anyway. This ending's like so weird to the soundtrack, it really is. Uh, yeah, but thieves are only really like the relevant thing to the speedway like so far. Uh, but it's a fun race anyway, so. Yeah, I actually do find the flying dynamics a bit stiffer than what they were in, let's say, the original Spyro trilogy. But they're stiff, but they're at least control better than they do in some other Spyro games, like Legend Spyro games and, you know, Hero's Tale, because. I know those games controls are very, you know, sort of loose and, you know, a bit quick. I always find it sort of hard to uh, suss out how to control uh, those games, to be honest, because it's not that the game's bad design, it's that the controls are not particularly fantastic, and while they were too close together, okay, uh, well, that, that thief's taking the shortcut. I don't know if this is really going to be a victory or not. I mean, I've done all I can to be fast here. 
I can't see how it could possibly be any faster. So, please tell me this But he does go around the outside of a lighthouse. That is going to help me big favours. Unless the star around there. Please tell me there isn't. <gasps> oh, it's close. It's close. There we go. Nice. So, yes, uh, that was quite a close one. So, we actually got it. Awesome. So, yeah, let's just get out of the speedway and do the level already. So, here we go. Who needs a flying carpet with, a, with wings? What kind of name is it going to be now? Neo, okay, that's alright. That's, that's a cool name. I'll, I'll accept that. But anyway, let's get out of here. Okay, I'll go, I'll go in time attack real quick. Now, obviously in this game, like previous Spyro games, as you can see, basically, the timer now counts up. Because that's basically what it does. But this castle in the middle here, you know, I've always, like, thought that could be a great place, you know, like previous Spyro games, to maybe put, like, a Hunter Challenge or something like that. Unless it hides them in the lighthouse, like Harbour Speedway. You can't get on top of the castle. I've been trying this for a long time. And unfortunately, it doesn't work. Oh, well, okay, you can. You hover. Okay, so you can get on top of the castle. Uh, I never actually thought I'd try and hover. In fact, I only really accidentally pressed that because uh, of confusing uh, switch controls. But yeah, you can actually get on top of the castle. Uh, really cool stuff. And you can uh, easily get back on top of it as well. Nice. So, yeah, but you know what? I'm just going to exit the area and go back to the main level, so, yeah. And you know what? I've actually just had a terrible thought, because you know how enemies reset after you exit a sub-area like that? Or a minigame? I've just thought that that could have possibly reset all of the, uh, all of the dragons. Magicians that I need to get the, you know, that I use the wing shield to get the... Dragonfly at the end. I never actually gave that a thought. Oh dear, right. Hopefully that has not happened, but I've just had that nasty feeling that's what's happened. So, please pray that has not happened. Why is Spyro doing this weird T-pose all the time? It's really weird. So, I know it started with about 10. So, see what I mean about the hitboxes on these things? I do not like them. Right, come on, just uh, let me position here. I'm going to step back a little bit, actually. Uh, maybe I'm standing too close. Yeah, that was it. Oh, this free to go. No, it has not reset them. So that's at least something that's a big relief to me. I wonder if you re-enter the level, they'll actually respawn. So you can do the challenge again if you want to. Oh, they're just like gems, they don't reset. Uh, Now, Breath Switching in Hero's Tail is way better than it is in this game, especially how using the wing shield messes it up every single time, because then you have to press the, one of the buttons in the combination you have to press is to change the breaths. In order to use the wing shield, very annoying. Uh, I know I'm usually at 40 gems at this point, but I'm too over for the simple reason. Because I collected that two gem at the start, which I didn't know you could actually even collect, so... Right, is that a gem here? No, it's just a bit of broken uh, texture, so... Not to worry about that. Now, I believe you can get this guy just easy from here. This is an easy one to get, apparently. Or not. Maybe I'll stand back. Are you going to fire an attack or not? That's what I mean, if you stand too far back, we don't even attack you. It's, it, 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 it's stupid. It honestly is. Maybe that is going too high. I wonder if I've actually got to uh, go up. maybe this direction. Yeah, there we go. So at least there's only two more of these cheeky buggers to get. So I 
And I really stiffly, I absolutely hate these allergies that I have. I really do. Every time I go outside, I do not feel the greatest, but you know, it's life, and you know, I could be in a worse position, I really could be, but it's just more of a minor annoyance than anything, to be honest. And there we go, as that by Zoe is always a good thing. And of course I'm getting this egg... What, what were I doing then? What was I doing? I legit thought that was an egg thief I needed to catch. I totally forgot what game I was playing. Anyway. You know, if I could swim, I'd dive under that water and press the switch to open that door up there. Nothing. Unfortunately, I forgot my water wings. Again. Say, maybe you can do it. Yeah, yes I can, of course. Watch out for the pool cleaner. It's dangerous! Pool cleaner, which doesn't particularly harm you all that much, to be honest. So, well, I've never been harmed by it anyway. I might try to get harmed by it for the Let's Play sake, so I can have a go, but... Yeah, let's have a little explore down here then, shall we? It's, it's... Now that door at the top can be skipped by, you know, a speedrunning strap of, you know, sort of clipping through the gate. But we're not going to be doing that today because we're actually going to try and do as much legit as we can instead of cheat the game and, you know... It don't really help new players, and to be honest, I need to be down here anyway for the gems, so... That's sort of like the formula I'm going for for these Let's Plays. Do things legit, but maybe try out things as I'm going along. Right, so that's that one in, and now I believe there should be just about... Wait a minute. One more to go, and then I believe that that is the challenge done. Yeah, there we go. Gate open, cool. Because it's like a bamboo gate. You can skip through it if you know what you're doing. But apparently, if you overclock your emulator like I do, you cannot do that. Uh, now, here's a cool thing I've been doing lately. Uh, Crash Bash, right? By Eurocom. I've actually been playing that a bit lately, actually. And to be honest, it's actually... Uh, I don't think the game's actually as bad as a lot of people make out it is. I mean, I've always found it to be quite a fun pa carnival slash party game. You know, and I do actually enjoy playing the game, to be honest. And I can remember lots of good memories from the game. I'm trying to go for 200%. And so far, I've got all the progress. And there's a key. Awesome. Which we need to open a chest uh, towards the end of the level. So, right at the end. But I say I've got 137% so far, so all I really need to do now is just collect the gold relics from the final warp room. And I think after that, I'm pretty much on my way to 200%. So, yeah, it's taking a lot of patience, unless there's more to collect, because I mean... Of course it did. Of course it sunk right to the pool. Yeah, but as I said, this game, I'm, wanting, I'm determined to get 200%. Now, the crystal and gem challenges are the worst in that game. But, you know. At least I've got them out of the way and over and done with. It's just relics and wow, I should not be talking. I should actually be concentrating on this game because I am sucking pretty bad. First off, I'm getting, I'm, I, I, I've started by playing the game. You know, with the computer unplugged. So I weren't getting the right performance. And then the next thing I was doing was I was doing an incredibly stupid thing of talking, getting distracted, going near the edge, you know, don't run at the edge of the pool, and I fell in. So, yeah. So, there might be more collectibles after gold relics in Crash Bash, I do not know, but I think I'm just gonna uh, leave that for now, because it is a little bit off topic. This isn't Crash Bash, this is spider Went for Dragonfly, but, yeah. Uh, right, can I get you first time? No. Right, it looks like I'm only getting one first time at this point, doesn't it? And you have to get relatively close. What are you doing? Are you not even going to respond to me? What have you done? Why are these enemies sort of like freezing up and T-posing? Okay. Well, that was just pretty much suicide here. Yeah, that's stupid. Oh, there you go. Uh, just sort of like defy boost himself, which makes absolutely... Uh, Zero sense at all. Uh, 
pretty much attacked himself. So I kind of in some way got that one first time. Now I want to make my way down here first and then I'll go along the top because I usually get the bottom cleared out first. You know, let's say if I go to a shopping mall or something, I always do downstairs first and then I do upstairs. Uh, I mean, Ikea, you can't do that. You have to do upstairs first because that's the layout of the store. But, you know, in the mall, that's where I do. Uh, I always start downstairs and work my way up because that's, uh, I don't know. When you're building a house, you start at the bottom and then you finish at the top, of course, because you're not going to build upstairs first, are you? Uh, that would be a totally stupid idea. Uh, so, yes. I'm going to start at the top, start at the bottom, and work my way up. Because a lot of people say, start, there we go, that's the last one. Cool. Because a lot of people say, start at the top, work your way down. Uh, well, in some cases, Gotta do a glide over here to put a cheeky dragonfly here. No, come on! That's what I mean, they make the platform like so skinny. That's what happens. Uh, are we right back here? Are you absolutely kidding me? But as I say, I'm a person who's like, for most cases, like, start at the bottom, work my up. I don't know why. It's just how I am. But anyway, it's a. In fact, it's not really a long way. I'm not going to make a cut. That's just stupid. I'm. I'm just going to play my way through here because, I mean, what is it? It's like 30 seconds to there. If I fall, I will make a cut. But I'm not going to fall, am I? So, well, I hope I don't. I pretty much planned it out that I'm not. But anyway, let's work our way along here, and we'll get that pesky dragonfly again. So. Now here's a funny thing about this dragonfly. Actually, if I can get it first. Uh, I'm going to glide my way down here. Making my way down here. Uh, oh, oh, I pressed the button again. Because of stupid singing. There we go. Right, I'm going to make... Here we go. So There we go. We got a... Hey, it's Atsumi. Atsumi. Yeah, if you actually mix the letters up, that could actually spell autism. Uh, that's actually uh, <laughs> pretty cool. Uh, I've actually just thought of that. So, I always thought here... You have to like death abuse because you've got nowhere to go. But actually, you can glide around here. So that's my stupid old fault for death abusing when I don't really need to. Now, this is quite a nice view. I wonder if this could actually make a nice thumbnail from here. Uh, uh, maybe not if I'm going to be taken up by the whirlwind. We'll always come back to it. So, yeah, the hide a dragonfly up here as well. Uh, I'll get you. I just don't want that gem falling on that ledge. Okay, so... Right, okay, so I'm going to work my way along here now. Hey, Martin. Martin! So yeah, three more dragonflies to go. I know where two are. One's in a chest. One I've got to claim for getting all of the magicians. And the last one... I've got to... Uh, there's like a little campfire challenge. Uh, what? Okay, it saved me. I say I didn't die. It's all good. Right now, while we're at it, we'll get this thumbnail, shall we? Uh, yeah, that is quite a good view from here, actually. It really is. Maybe I might work my way down a bit more, actually. But you know, at least so far, I have a bit of something, actually. So, but you know, yeah, because I've noticed a lot of YouTubers now do this thing where they go, "I'd make a great thumbnail. Let's uh, do this." Thank you. Right, so. That's a very short platform to have to like glide and hover. It really is. Is that gem gonna collect? Yes, it is. It just sort of like rocketed to me. It was falling, but then the gem just sort of like rocketed to me. I have no idea what's actually going on here. Now, can I do that? It's like sort of like the jumping strat. No, I cannot. Okay, so I want to go down here while I can. There we go. So. Yeah, it's so off-throwing because I know the no usual like number of gems I have at this point. Oh dear, right, I'm going to have to go in this whirlwind, aren't I? Yes, right, that will do the job, so. Now I need to go back to the top. Uh, I thought that was a gem, but see, there's a lot of gems in here that you can easily, uh, you know, sort of miss. 
I just love exploring like adventurous levels like this, so I'm actually kind of glad that they have actually hidden gems in this quite well. I know it's annoying when you keep falling, but it gives you all the more reason to explore, which is... Has this gem fall? It has! The gem's fallen off! Okay, right, this is... <sighs> My goodness, right. Where am I at today? Where am I at? And there we go. So now we can make our way to the last section. Cool. So let's uh, go down here. Over here. Now maybe this next ledge is actually a good spot for a thumbnail actually. Because I put the logo in the top left. So maybe this is good. Maybe a jump so I can get a higher view. Uh, but it gives you a very good idea of the level. You know of its size, because this cavern area here at the end is quite a big open space. It really is. It's, it's really cool, it honestly is. Uh, I thought I glided like too soon then. Uh, there we go. Thanks for your help, Spyro. Say, did you drop this? <laughs> hey, it's Mickey. Mickey Mouse. So, uh, so there we go. So, yeah, this is like a cool section here. This is like, yeah, sort of like, sort of like exit portal with them two like lanterns by it. Really cool. Uh, and then you got you got your thief there. So, but the thief's like sort of like you know, looking away from me. It's sort of like looking at the portal, like to go in there. Uh, yeah, I can't talk too much today. I'm sort of like a little bit brain fogged. I really am. But, you know, I'm playing the game well. Maybe it's sort of like getting that balance. You know, it happens always in the harder levels. This is why I probably could never do a Crash Bash Let's Play. It really is. Because, uh, unless I have, like, guest commentators on it. So, <gasps> whoa, okay, right. That's cool. Uh, right, so here we go. This is the last section. Wish me luck on this. Really do wish me luck. In fact, I don't really need to be this way anyway, because I can just drop down. And I can go back uh, back down there anyway, so... Let's, uh... Cool stuff. Right, so... Yeah, that was some tricky gliding, it really was. So here we go, this is the last like little challenge I've got to do with campfires. Fortunately, all of the campfires, to what I believe, are on this sort of like top area here. So there's no actual having to go down. But what I will do is I'll sort of like, uh, you know, sort of like on these rafters here, you know, sort of like this big, like sort of like cross section here. I'm going to actually get all the gems first because I believe that's where most of the campfires are. I believe it's campfires anyway got to extinguish. I can't exactly remember too much to be honest, but I think we'll find out in a minute anyway. Draw distance can be a bit of a problem. A bit problematic because, you know, basically, yeah, that can happen. Uh, to be honest, you don't see gems. So I believe they put fires. All right, okay. Ice breath is needed, cool. All right, okay. So I have to do these again anyway. Who would have known? Okay, so there's only two up here, thankfully, so I don't have to do the tricky glides. Right, over here. And let's just extinguish that one. That one. Three. Two. One to go. And the last one is here. If you fall down, you've got to restart the challenge. There's no way you're getting back up. Really irritating. Spyro's neck must be in so much pain. Look at the position he's in. <laughs> like, wow. Hey, it's Marta. Tomata. Because you say you say it like that. Right, I'm from England, right? You say tomato. You don't say tomato. Right. 
I'm just going to make that a good point. It's a tomato. Tomato. Is it? I think it's tomato, not tom tomato. Because uh, you say tomato sauce, or you'll say a tomato is in the, the vegetable. Uh, but <laughs> not that tomato has got anything to do with this level, but, you know, obviously I'm just thought I'd say it because... I really do not like the sound of the word tomato. It really irritates me, I don't know why. Why do Americans say it that way? They always say the A, like, is it really necessary to do that? Pronounce it that way? Same as it, I mean, you can clearly tell the difference in lettering if you put like the U in, like words like harbour and honour. Yeah, I, I, yeah, American English is different to what we have in, uh, you say, British English. Uh, but. Yeah, so welcome to MTB's languages lesson. But anyway, here we go. Right, I believe we've just got to go over here now. Cool. And there is a whirlwind here now, so we can actually can get back. Really good. Something they should have done in Cloud9. And here we go. I believe this is the last dragonfly. Cool, Flash, do that again. Hey, it's Racket. Racket, okay. Uh, so here we go, so, right, that's that level done, right? I believe I've got all I can, there's 10 gems at the end. So yes, if you look here, they have actually put a, uh, that's, that's nice. Like the whole views around this level are just beautiful. They've actually put a portal that takes you back. Something they should have done in Cloud9. What? Well, I don't think it's much good, is it? If the uh, the thing doesn't work. Where even are we? Oh, don't tell me. Oh, no. How has it put me all that way back? Surely there should have been another Zoe before the end of the level. That. So we've got to go all the way back now? Are you kidding? All the way back here? Oh, this is a pain. <laughs> right, okay. I'm making a cut. Right, that did not happen. That totally did not happen. That's getting cut out. Right. Cut here to the end. There we go. That's where we are. Right, this is where we're at. Okay, that took a fair few minutes to get back to. But, yeah, I didn't really do that strategic thing really all that good, did I? Uh, it had been quicker to actually go back to the start of a level. That's if the, uh, you know, sort of like the whirlwind works correctly. I might actually test that right now, actually. I might as well test it while I'm at it. So, yeah, here we go. That's all the gems. Cool. So, yeah, I'm just going to make my way back up to this whirlwind here. You know, all these, like, dark areas with these, like, glowing parts on the side. Really nice. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to test this whirlwind once again. Uh, it doesn't work if you're flying it that way. Okay. Why is there, like, so many, like, one-way whirlwinds in this game? Okay, so I'm maybe not going to press anything. There we go, it does work, so you don't touch the controls, right. I would not have known that. How would a casual player have known that? How would even skilled Spyro players have known that? It's just... Yeah, nobody knows it. A really nice, like, cave, this area. Really is. Uh, it's like cave area here towards the end. Uh, done an amazing job at this level, they really have. But anyway, we have spent a long enough time in this level. I don't know what Spider we're doing, it's sort of like tipping on the side along the edge there. Really weird stuff. So yeah, the last level to go now is just Jurassic Jungle. And then after that, all uh, we've got to do is just defeat Ripto again for the third time. So, yep, yeah, so anyway, let's get out of here as Spyro just floats away in the level. Okay, a uh, very weird way. So you go through a portal and now you're on a magic carpet. Very mysterious. It really is. But, you know... I think that's enough for this part anyway, because uh, we're going to make our way to the last level now. And then uh, I'm not going to be recording it now, because obviously the last level's... I don't think it's quite as long as this, but it's quite an adventurous level. And it has another awesome slide. So that's something to look forward to, guys, next week. So I do plan to make these in every Saturday upload, but the Let's Play is nearly done. I don't know if I'm going to be sticking to doing routine uploads in future, because... I do do this mainly as a hobby, not a big YouTuber thing. So, I can't just say every Saturday night at 10 o'clock uh, UK time there's going to be a new Let's Play part. I cannot say that at all. But, what, 
but I am trying to just upload on Saturdays for now. You know, it can be any time, but uh, we're definitely not a routine. And to be honest, I'm not this big YouTuber who does these routines, but you know, I don't really need to do these routines. To be honest, I, I just I'm, I'm doing this as a hobby, not a career. You know, in fact, I don't monetize most of my stuff. So, uh, not that you can with Spyro anyway, but thankfully I've not been hit by the copyright bot. But anyway, everyone, that's enough on that. So, this has been quite a long part again. Uh, I hope we've all enjoyed it. And you haven't drunk too much or eaten too much because the part's been too long. But, yep, yeah, very, very mysterious stuff. So anyway, of course, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I know it's your body, your choice. But anyway, thank you, everyone. And I'll indeed catch you all on the next one. So, yep, take care. And we'll see you in the final level. So, catch you all then. Have fun all. And stay tuned. Bye.